Continuing our New England adventure, today we're going from the Back Room Brewery in Middletown, Virginia, a Harvest Host location, to the Fair Game Beverage Company in Pittsburgh, North Carolina, also a Harvest Host location. We are here at Backroom Brewery, and uh, that's in Virginia, not too far off of 81. We are uh, pretty well packed up for the day here and getting ready to hit the road. Um, Maggie's gone back to bed, uh, didn't eat her breakfast, too tired. <laughs> She'll eat it later. Uh, so anyway, we're, we're going to head down to um, Fair Game Beverage down in Pittsburgh, North Carolina. It's about a six-hour drive. So that's where we'll be heading today, and uh, we'll sample some spirits when we get there and get something to eat. Take care. We'll catch you all down the road a piece. Thanks for riding along with us. We appreciate you. Bye-bye. Well, here we are. We are uh, off the major thoroughfare on one of the back roads and heading to uh, Fair Game Beverage, which is a distillery and it's our destination harvest host for the evening. As you can see from some of the other um, video clips, we uh, had a pretty gray day. Uh, a little bit of rain just recently, but uh, Overall, it's uh, it's pretty decent. Looks like we are here. I don't know what's where. I see fair game there. Okay. Okay. Okay, doesn't look bad. Cute little complex. I need to get turned around here and figure out where the heck I'm going, so. I'm gonna shut this down. Maggie's whining already, and uh, Try to get back around the front, find a place to park to go check in. Well, there's Maggie inside the van. And uh, we are here at Fair Game Beverage, which is right across the way. And uh, so we're just sitting here. I'm going to go on inside and sample some of the spirits and uh, go from there. Maggie's got to stay in the van. Uh, she can stay on the grounds, walk the grounds, stay at the picnic tables, but. Obviously, she can't go in the building, so she's stuck inside while I take a little walk. So uh, we'll head on over and uh, see what they've got inside. Catch you in just a few. Okay, there's where the van's parked. Uh, another little, little one behind me. Down there is another one pulled into the lot over there. And as you can see, quite a quite an assortment of stuff here a lot of things to do here they got food and shops and whatever uh, there's the sign up there nice little patio here along with other ones and uh, it's 
So let's just kind of wander inside and see what we can see inside. Just me again. Just you. <laughs> it's never just you. We're always yeah. <laughs> Somebody taught you well. <laughs> anyway, here we are inside. The fridge looks a little empty. We just got it installed yesterday. Ah. We're going to fill her up over the next week <laughs> with cheese and sodas and other things. Okay. Cake. Very good. What else she got over here? Okay, mixes and stuff here. This is my work table. This is where I build gift baskets and crates. And, um, we sell cocktail crates. Oh, really? All the fixes. Huh. Um, so that's sort of my workspace. And then if you go through, there's lots more products in the other room as okay. well. Okay. Yeah, we do our, we actually do the distilling in this room. So we move everything out of the way and we pull down the tanks <laughs> and everything. So. Very good. I want to walk in the other room and then I think I want to do a tasting. Okay, small, lots of stuff in here. No more product in here. Lots of stuff in here. And there's so much outside to do, so. Anyway, I'm gonna head back into the other room now and uh, go sit down for a tasting. And I'm gonna have to buy a couple bottles, obviously. Rum, brandy. Okay, that's enough. Nice stuff. Let's go see what they got. Okay, here is the tasting card. They've got six on here. I've already downed two of them. They've got uh, Agricole rum, Amber rum, a unique spirit created as a rum but made from uh, sweet sorghum cane rather than sugar cane. Peach brandy, apple brandy, and flying pepper, which is a Tobago infused vodka. So we're going to continue to taste these down, and I think I'm already picking up the peach brandy to take home for my neighbor, <laughs> who keeps an eye on things around the house. I think she will enjoy that. Catch you in a bit. Hello, everybody. Just finished my tasting at the uh, at the at the uh, fair game. Distillery here, very nice place. This is one of the nicest places I've been at from a Harvest Host location. All kinds of activity for people to do, including uh, renting e-bikes. They've got other outbuildings with different things. Uh, gift shop, uh, the, the distillery room, a uh, tasting room was excellent. Uh, um, Kirsten was the, was the hostess that I had and uh, she was just superb in spite of COVID and everything else. Uh, made herself available if you had any questions, whatever, and uh, explained the different uh, spirits that they had there and uh, what they were about. Uh, quite a bit of good information on the tasting card too. So I really like this place. Um, it's back out of the way a little bit and uh, it was very enjoyable. I would come here again and I highly recommend it to anybody uh, near the Pittsboro, North Carolina area. Uh, you stop in here, harvest host or not, and uh, see what they've got to offer. I was impressed. Um, that pretty well wraps up today, and tomorrow we'll be uh, starting our trek home, which is about a six hour drive. Nothing too exciting. Uh, get in the van, well not really get in, we're already in it. Uh, move from the bed to the front, fix some coffee, and uh, um, get in and drive home, so. Got about six hours, as I said, and uh, 
probably have a uh, one fuel stop, one rest stop, and uh, we should be home. I'll be anxious to get home. The trip's been great. Um, one of the better trips I've ever had, and uh, looking forward to doing it again. But it's also nice to get home. So we'll catch you down the road a piece. Thanks a lot for uh, traveling with me. Bye-bye.